Hello and a blessed day children! Now we are on the second quarter of English Grade 3. Hello children! Are you excited and happy to learn a new thing? Our topic for today is about words and phrases in text. Are you ready? Shall we start? Words are composed of letters, while phrases are formed by combining words together. In this lesson, you are expected to read familiar words and phrases in text. Let us read the example words and phrases. From group A, those are the example of words. Let us read park, girl, tree, flag, table, mask, journey, car, clock. And for the group B, those are the example of phrase. In the park, beautiful girl, huge tree, colorful flag, on the table, wearing a mask, learn journey, new car, Old Tower Clock. In the items in the group A are called words, while items in the group B are known as phrases. What is words? Do you have any idea what is words? When we say words, words is letters are combined together to form words. Words vary in a turn of length and number of letters. Let us read the example of words. First, beautiful. Second, woman. Third, dress. Fourth, disease. Fifth, alcohol. And the last one is medicine. Those are the example of words. Children, did you know what is phrases? If you don't know what is phrases, let us watch and learn. Phrases are formed by combining words together. These phrases may provide descriptions or ideas about particular topic or subject. Here are the example of phrases. Let us read. The first one is beautiful girl. Next, my black dress. Next, at the canteen. And the last one is blue tent. Those are the example of phrases. For the first learning task in this topic, read the poem below, then identify if each underlined item is a word or a phrase. Write your answers in your notebook or on your paper. Let us read first the poem. The title of the poem is Trees by Joyce Kilmer. I think that I shall never see a poem lovely as a tree, a tree whose hungry mouth is pressed. Against the earth's sweet flowing breast, a tree that looks at God all day and lifts her leafy arms to pray. The answer for number one is think. Think is an example of word. For number two, lovely as a tree is an example of phrase. For number three, hungry mouth is also an example of phrase. For number four, sweet flowing breast is also an example of phrase. And for number five, God is an example of word. And for number six, her leafy arms is an example of phrase. Let us read the continuation of the poem trees. A tree that may in a summer wear a nest of robins in her hair, upon whose bosom snow has lain, who intimately lives with rain. Poems are made by fools like me, 
but only God can make a tree. The answer for number 7, the underlined item is summer, and the answer is word. For number 8, in her hair, the answer is phrase. For number 9, snow, the answer is word. For number 10, leaves, the answer is word. And for number 11, poems, the answer is word. And for number 12, a three, the answer is phrase. For the learning task number two, read this story below, then identify if each underlined item is a word or a phrase. Write your answers in your notebook or on your paper. Let us read the story of The Ants and the Grasshopper by Aesop. One bright day in the late autumn, a family of ants were bustling about in the warm sunshine. Drying out the grain they had stored up during the summer when a starving grasshopper, his fiddle under his arm, came up and humbly begged for a bite to eat. What? cried the ants in surprise. Have you stored any away from the winter? What in the world were you doing last summer? I do not have time to store up any food, whined the grasshopper. I was so busy making music that before I knew it, the summer was gone. The ants shrugged their shoulders in disgust. Making music were you? They cried. Very well, now dance and turned their backs on the grasshopper and went on their work. For the learning task number two, I will give you the answer for number one, two, three, and four for an example in this activity. And for number five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, you're going to answer the following item. For number one, in the late autumn, the answer is phrase because the underlined item is an example of words, combination of words. The first word is in, the second word is late, and the third word is autumn. For the number two, the answer is also a phrase. Because the underlined item is combination of words. The first word is warm and the second word is sunshine. And for number three, the answer is word. Because the underlined item is only one word and combination of letters. And for number four, the answer is phrase. Because number four is combination also of words. The first word is a and the second word is bite. For the last activity in this topic, in your notebook, complete the paragraph by selecting the appropriate answer from the given choices below. Here are the choices. Phrases, words, number. Let us read the paragraph. Letters are combined together to form blank. Words vary in terms of length and blank of letters. Meanwhile, blank are formed by combining words together. Thank you children for watching and listening in this video. I know you have learned a lot. Please share your learnings to your classmates, friends, to your family or loved ones. Happy learnings! Goodbye! Thank you and God bless you. Please share and subscribe.